two, three, four. Stick my feet together. Now the, the magnetize. Make sure I'm in the center of the spectator. I would misdirect while I was talking to them. I'd get a hold of the material. I'd say, okay, watch. While I'm doing this and talking to them, saying, stay right there, I'm taking my left hand, removing the panel, and when I come back around, I just pull it apart so it's done. Now I'm ready in position to take my leg right out. Remember, it's important to create some misdirection. You don't want them concentrating on your legs at this point. You want them looking elsewhere so that you can do the dirty work, which is probably the most difficult part to get your leg out and planted and then to get your leg back in is where you really need to be slick. So when you're in this position, I usually just bring my hands forward while I come and get everything to position. Now the next phase of this is just literally to balance yourself, as we discussed before, and just create the illusion and presentation that you're going to float. Arch your back, look up in the air, bring your hands up and be... And now you've got to keep your heel pointed to the ground so you keep the back of your legs taut. Boom. And then you can land. How's that look? Looks good. Now you can either float up to the top or you can float back down. And you get your foot back in. But if you float to the top, you can float up to the top. Boom. And this is the position you land in. Your foot actually lands on top of the shoe. This is obviously the most difficult technique and effect to do, which I did on a uh, sidewalk and I also did uh, in a